Hi everyone. What we've got here is a Belkin Search Cube, which is an inline search protection device. So the way it works is quite simple. This this is just a UK in inlet and UK female outlet uh, socket. So you plug this into an existing uh, wall socket and you can plug your load into the front. So I got this because it allows me to use my existing power strip with it, which was already kind of uh, off the correct length and um, installed against the wall nicely and all that. And also, this is um, quite a bit cheaper than getting a power strip with such protection built in. Now, I um, recently I've been shopping around for uh, a new one uh, to replace this one and also potentially to protect some AV equipment that I'll be getting soon. So I thought rather than going by what they advertise on the website, why not take take mine apart to see whether it's got what it claims to have. And I must say that I'm a bit disappointed looking at what's under the covers and I'll explain why in a second. So what we've got here is a green LED that lights up when the unit is protected or rather, oh, I should say while it's offering protection to the to the load so the back part here is, is, is just a, a female and male UK uh, uh, plug so we can ignore that bit so basically what that means is all, all the search protection work is done by this tiny circuit board here and if we look at it, we've got two resistors and a diode that, from what I can tell, does nothing other than power the green LED that, that we saw at the front. And everything that's doing the actual search protection is just this tiny, or rather, I wouldn't say tiny, but it's this single metal oxide varistor, which Belkin claims on their website to be oversized uh, MOVs. To handle a bit more uh, current while producing a, a bit less uh, heat than smaller ones but what what really puzzles me is the, the website also claims that this this unit offers three line AC protection which I thought would would mean there would, there would be three of these clamping uh, neutral to earth and live to earth apart from just uh, live to neutral so this Probably needs very little explanation, um, but I'll go through it anyway. So we've got a thermal fuse there, set at 150 degrees Celsius, or I can't really read it, but basically, um, let me backtrack a bit. There's this tiny fiberglass pouch that wraps the, the varistor and the uh, thermal fuse, so that kind of... Uh, stops flames from spreading out and melting the whole unit if, if it ever overheats. Um, uh, from what I gather, uh, these uh, MOVs wear out over time, uh, or rather they degrade and at some point they'll just overheat and they'll just burn or, or melt through the plastic. So we've got to replace this every couple of years anyway. Um, okay, so what we've got here is the blue cable is the neutral cable and the, uh, the, the brown cable is obviously the live cable. So We've got the live coming in from here and this solder pad connects the live cable to, to this um, thermal fuse and at the other end of the thermal fuse we've got this on this solder pad here to the left it, it connects the uh, thermal fuse to one leg of the, the varistor and the other leg of the varistor connects back out here to this uh, solder pad which is where the neutral cable is soldered onto. So this huge block of solder here that I'm tapping on is, is where the blue uh, neutral cable is connected to. Right there. So that's it. And this is very disappointing because for half the price, we can get search protectors that actually have three metal oxide varistors in there that uh, basically clamp life to neutral, life to earth and neutral to earth. Whereas this one only clamps life to neutral. Um, a bit disappointing. Oh, we've got that uh, the, the spec there. 115 degrees Celsius is uh, the, the rating of the thermal fuse. 
So when uh, the, when the temperature exceeds 150 degrees Celsius, it, it just blows and it breaks uh, the life uh, the, the the circuit between the life cable and and the varistor. Um, so that's it. Uh, so looking at this, I, I wouldn't recommend getting this as a surge protector because uh, as, as I've mentioned, there are, there are much better and much cheaper options out there. Um, I'll post some links in the description to this uh, of, of this video anyway for your reference. Um, but uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, I thought I'll, I'll just quickly show you what it looked like out of the box. So here we can see the fiberglass pouch and closing the thermal fuse and the MOV. So this pouch serves two purposes. Uh, the first being it allows the heat to be contained uh, within close proximity of the thermal fuse, thereby tripping it uh, quicker. But also it offers some protection to the, um, to the end user because should that uh, MOV heat up or, or catch fire, it, it prevents the uh, uh, flames from um, melting the uh, plastic bits. Uh, well, at least it, it, it hopefully with, with, with that, there's a higher probability of the thermal fuse uh, sort of tripping and disconnecting the, the circuit before um, excessive heat damage can be done to um, the other components. Now, one other thing I just want to quickly mention is uh, that I forgot to mention earlier is the way these metal oxide varistors work is they've got what's called a, a threshold voltage which we can make out based on the printing that was on the uh, component itself. So if if you rewind back the rewind if you rewind the video back to that to 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 where we uh, had a good view of it then maybe you can work out the uh, the threshold voltage. So basically the way it works is once a threshold voltage is reached in the case of this uh, setup between live and neutral, so once a threshold voltage is reached, the uh, component would basically just clamp both its legs together. So in this case, it would short live and neutral together and that prevents the uh, surge current from exiting the device and damaging your load. So that, with that in mind, um, it's another good reason why there is a thermal fuse and this fiberglass pouch because as you can imagine, shorting life and neutral together would produce a huge amount of uh, heat straight away. Um, so probably a good idea to have this. But once again, my uh, back to what I was saying earlier, it, it's, this is a very, very basic design and it's very disappointing to to be paying for such a premium brand and only getting a single uh, MOV um, kind of protection but anyway I've said enough of that now anyway okay thanks for watching